tomorrow we will have to go back to school. <laughs> What do you guys think? Well, I must say that I get so used to staying at home. Now I'm a bit lazy to go back to school, but I guess it'll be fun. In today's video, since this is the last day to spend our new year, I want to share to you ten techniques on how to improve your English fluency this year. So each year, I will make a video on some techniques you can try to improve your English fluency during this year. So let's jump right into it. All right, the first technique is what I called the news analysis technique. You know what? In order to kind of like improve your English fluency, you need to have knowledge. So news will help you to provide with the right knowledge you will need. So what you do is that first of all, read and analyze news article covering various topics like education, politics, history, etc. And this will enhance your comprehension, vocabulary, and critical thinking skills. So what you do, there are like lots of websites you can read news, which I already shared with you in many of my previous YouTube channels. And when you find the kind of news that you want, first of all, read them like slowly. You can read them aloud if you want, or quietly if you want, and analyze it. You know to see if you actually understand it. It's useless to read news if you cannot understand them. So make sure that you have to kind of like analyze it. How do we analyze it? By thinking about it, and after you finish reading it, you are able to retell the story in English again using. Your own word and sentence. The first technique is called news analysis. Moving on, the second technique is called debate and discussion. You know, debate actually helps you a lot with your critical thinking skills and your fluency because it actually teaches you to present an idea. It teaches you to kind of like explain an idea. And in order to do that, you need to have fluency. And in order to have fluency, you need to have critical thinking skills. And finally, in order to have critical thinking skills, you will need the first technique, which is called news analysis. And how you usually do this is that engage in written or oral debates and discussions on topics of interest. This will help you practice expressing your opinions. And sharing your ideas, like there are lots of topics. For example, if you're interested about music, I think this will be better if you actually have a partner who also want to practice your English. But you can totally practice by yourself by opening up some debate topics, like should music be a compulsory subject at school, and kind of like give yourself some time, give yourself a little bit of time. To actually think about a topic, and after that, you have to kind of like present the idea. There are many ways of presenting this idea. Either you present it in front of an audience, like your friends or family, or if you don't have one, then just record yourself and watch it to kind of like improve every single day. The third technique is what I called reverse translation. Yep. Reverse translation. What you do, this technique will help you think in English. So, pick a text in your own language. Let's say Vietnamese or Japanese. So, pick a text in your own language and translate it into English. So, this will help you start thinking in English. I know that this is an old way, and you know, like our teacher, especially in Vietnam, Vietnamese teachers. Always kind of like make us translate the text from Vietnamese into English, but I believe this technique is actually pretty beneficial for you if you know how to do it the right way. Because, for example, I have this text in Vietnamese, 
and you'll kind of like try to translate it into English. You don't have to write it down, you know. You just need to think in your head, or if you actually want, feel free to write it down. There are many ways, but this reverse translation technique will help you to think in English instead of thinking in Vietnamese if you want to improve your fluency. The fourth technique is called vocabulary expansion. To me, this technique is totally normal because what we do is we learn the vocabulary, but we'll have to find unique and interesting ways to remember those vocabulary. There are lots of like websites for you to remember, and I think using flashcards can definitely help you to remember. You can either make like handmade flashcards, or you can actually go on the Quizlet. Quizlet. I really recommend Quizlet. When I was learning some scientific terms, I usually use Quizlet. You can edit your own, and you can learn them through flashcards. The fifth technique is called simulated conversations. What you do is that you'll have to act out conversation and dialogue you see on the internet or on YouTube. Just search for the keyword like easy conversation or like comedy or funny conversation in English, and there are lots of like easy comedy for you to actually watch and act it out. And I guess that. You can actually kind of like improve your speaking fluency and confidence because you need confidence to improve your English fluency. This will help you to feel more comfortable in real life situations. So, if you are interested in being an actor or an actress, this will be your favorite technique. Our sixth technique is called transcript analysis. So what you do, it's kind of like similar to shadowing, but it's just a bit different. Is that you will open some videos on YouTube. I recommend you open some videos such as TED Talk, TEDx Talk, or a lot of as long as it is an English video and it's educational for you. You open it. You open the transcript. Open the subtitles, and you just kind of like read along. You can actually, if you think it's too fast, then try to. Reduce the speed of the video and read it along. Try to imitate their tone. So, transcript analysis technique number seven: authentic writing. Writing plays an important part in your English fluency. So, what you do is that challenge yourself. Frequently, you don't have to write that much. Write about once a week or twice a week. What matters the most is that when you finish writing an essay, you revise it over, and you know your mistakes, and you learn from your mistakes. You don't have to write an essay every single day. That's actually quite impossible. So what you do is that frequently challenge yourself to write anything you want. It can be writing a blog, a diary, etc. And this will help you to sound more like a native speaker moving forward. I really recommend. A free website to check your writing. I know that there's a lot of websites that cost money, but if you do not want to cost money, use ChatGPT. I mean, it aids it a lot for kind of like ideas for essay and checking my essay. What you do is that you will kind of like tell the ChatGPT check my essay and give me some、uh, like compliments or give me some feedbacks. Detailed feedbacks, and you paste your essay in that, and the Chat GPT surprisingly and shockingly will give you really an extremely detailed feedback. So I really recommend Chat GPT. But if you're not so sure about using Chat GPT, feel free to download any kind of like writing apps to help you get better at writing. But I usually use Chat GPT. So you can actually like learn from it quite a lot. I actually have this technique called dictation exercises. If you really want to test out your listening skill, you can do this. But you know, it's mostly for beginners who want to improve listening skill. Is that open an English video and you will try to kind of like do not open subtitles. 
you will hear what they say and write down exactly what they say. And later on, you will check if you got the right answer. I would recommend this technique for advanced or intermediate learner. But this technique can be really useful for beginners who want to advance your listening skill. So dictation exercises. Technique number nine, oral presentations. If you think debate is not for you, then try to present the topic. It's similar to debate. You will choose a topic of interest and you will give yourself some time to kind of like present that topic. For this technique, I really recommend to have a partner with you to practice together or family members. You can present in front of them. And I guess that your family members will give you really honest feedback on how to present properly. They may not be able to give you feedback on your, about your English, but I'm sure they will be able to give you feedback to how, like, on how to present and how to give out a presentation. So oral presentations help you present a topic better because I can assure you when you go to higher levels of education, like high school and university, you have to frequently give debates or like give a presentation to your professor in order to get good grades. So why don't you practice right now? Technique number 10 is my favorite. It's called language learning challenges. So what you basically do is that set monthly or weekly challenges for yourself, such as reading a book in English, watching movies without subtitles, or maintaining a conversation for a certain amount of time. This will help you achieve your goals faster, and you will have, because like you have more structure. I love this one. For example, you set a goal for yourself in this month, you will finish this book and will understand everything in that book. Or in this week, you will have three conversations with a foreigner for like approximately 10 minutes. Set monthly or weekly challenges will actually motivate you and will actually kind of like help you to reach your goals faster. And you can even keep a diary to check and keep up with your goals too. That's the end of all of the 10 goals or 10 techniques in this. Some of the techniques you may not find it suitable for you, it's okay because those 10 techniques, I guess, it's for everybody. Some of them will not work for you. Try other techniques, but those are the techniques that I actually do a lot of research and I tried. I've done research in like on YouTube, on the internet, and I guess it can be very useful for you to try those techniques for the upcoming year to gain more confidence and improve your fluency in English. Stay tuned.